Good morning! I will be your teacher in today's lesson. I am Mrs. Mary Angie Drio, your mathematics teacher. So sit back, relax, keep watching, and enjoy learning throughout our lesson. Ano ba't hinihintay mo? Halina at matuto kasama si Mrs. Drio. We are now in quarter 3, week 6, solves routine and non-routine problems involving the area of composite figures formed by any of two or more of the following. Triangle, square, rectangle, circle, and semicircle with a code of M6ME-3H-90. Before our discussion, let us have a review in our previous lesson. This activity called Picture Reveal. You are going to tell what will picture show as you answer the following questions in the puzzle. You are going to type your answers in the comment section. What is the area of a square with a side of 5 meters? Type your answer in the comment section. Very good. The answer is 25 square meters. A circle has a diameter of 22 centimeters. What is its radius? That's right. The answer is 11 centimeters. Next, to find the area of a composite figure, blank the figure into simpler shapes whose area can be found. The answer is separate. Next, Find the area of a triangle with a base of 15 meters and a height of 6 meters. Very good! The answer is 45 square meters. Find the area of a rectangle with a length of 12 cm and width of 5 cm. Very good! The answer is 60 square centimeters. Lastly, if the area of a square is 64 square centimeters, what is the measurement of its side? Very good! The answer is 8 centimeters. Did you know that the Philippines is an archipelago that comprises 7,641 islands with a total land area of 300,000 square kilometers or 115,830 square miles. It has three major islands which are Luzon, Visayas, and Bindanao. Let's have another activity. Let's unlock the words by identifying what is being described. Use the jumbled word as your guide. It is the number of unit squares that cover the surface of a closed figure. The answer is area. It is made up of several simple geometric figures such as triangles, rectangles, squares, circles, and semicircles. The answer is composite figure. It is a type of problem in which there is an immediate solution and no hidden questions.
very good. The answer is routine problem. It is any complex problem. Oftentimes, these problems can be solved in multiple ways. The answer is non-routine problem. Let's watch a video about Bay Alonso's farm tour in Zambales. After that, answer the following questions by typing your answers in the comment section. Welcome to our farm. Questions. Number one, how can you maintain the cleanliness of a certain place? Type your answers in the comment section. Very good. Here are some answers. Maintain a proper cleaning routine and develop a sense of responsibility. Number two, what are the benefits that we can get in planting trees and crops and raising farm animals? Type your answers in the comment section. Here are some answers. It provides income. It manages soil and reduce erosion. And also, it improves animal welfare. Number three. Based on the video, what kind of landform was shown? What layout and planting method did they use in planting mango trees? Very good. The landform shown in the video was a plain. Did you know that the widest plain is in Central Luzon? It is otherwise known as the rice granary of the country. How about the method did they use in planting mango trees? They use square method. What is a square method? This is a common system of planting adopted in plains. The distance from plant to plant and row to row is kept equal. The planting is done at each corner of the squares. Let's have a problem. Bea Alonso owned a farm in Zambales. They planted several mango trees in a square method as the layout in planting fruit-bearing trees. Suppose that the distance between two mango trees is 3 meters, what is the total land area of the highlighted trees as seen in the picture? The highlighted trees in the picture form a figure. This is an example of composite figure. Based on the problem, the distance between two trees is 3 meters, which means a four-corner trees form a square lot. Here are the steps in solving this problem. First, understand the problem by knowing what is asked and identifying what is or are given. Step 2. Devise a plan. By making an illustration, determining the operation to be used or the formula needed, and thinking of a strategy to solve the given problem. Next is to carry out the plan by solving the unknown value and lastly, look back by stating the final answer and checking your answer if reasonable. Back to the problem, let us understand the problem by knowing what is asked, 
and hidden questions and identifying what is or are given. In this problem, we are going to find the total land area of the highlighted trees. For us to be able to find the total land area, we are going to find also the area of the square lot form and the total number of the square lot form. So the given to solve this problem is 3 meters, which is the distance between two mango trees. Next is to devise a plan by making an illustration. Let us determine the formula needed to be able to find the total land area, which is, it is formed by a square. So the formula in finding the area of a square is side times the side. Since we have a total of 8 square lots, multiply the area of the square by 8. So to find the total area of the given figure, let us use the formula 8 times S squared, wherein S is the side of the square. Next is to carry out the plan by calculating the area. Since we have a total of 8 square lots, multiply the area of the square by 8. So use the formula 8 times S squared. Since we have the side of 3 meters, we are going to substitute the side in the formula 8S squared. So let us multiply 3 by itself 2 times. So that would be 8 times 3 meters times 3 meters. So we have 3 times 3, we have 9 meters squared multiplied by 8. So the area is 72 squared meters. So lastly, we have to look back. We are going to state the final answer. So therefore, the total land area of the highlighted trees as seen in the picture is 72 square meters. Let's have another problem. The dimension of a rectangular swimming pool is 35 meters by 20 meters. A 2 meter concrete walk is built around the pool. What is the area of the concrete walk? So let us understand by knowing what is as. So what is as in the problem is the area of the concrete walk. And then for us to be able to find the area of the concrete walk, we should determine first the area of the rectangular swimming pool and the area of the pool with 2 meter concrete walk built around the pool. The given are the measurement of the rectangular swimming pool which is 3 meter by 20 meter and 2 meters which is the measurement of the concrete walk built around the pool. Next is to plan. Since we have the measurement of the rectangular swimming pool which is 35 meters by 20 meters and a 2 meter concrete walk built around the pool, we are going to add the 2 meters on the left side and 2 meters on the right side of the pool for us to be able to find the total length of the bigger rectangle so we have since we have 35 meters plus 2 meters and then plus 2 meters we will be having 39 meters and then for us to be able to find the width of the bigger rectangle we are going to add the 2 meters above and 2 meters below to the measurement of the rectangular pool which is 20 meters. So therefore, the width of the bigger rectangle is 20 plus 2 plus 2 that would be 24 meters. The formula we are going to use is the area of the rectangle which is length times width. Um, we are going to find the area of the bigger rectangle and the area of the smaller rectangle. So, for us to be able to find the area of the concrete walk, we are going to subtract the area of smaller rectangle from the bigger rectangle. And then, let us solve for the area of the bigger rectangle. So, 
substitute the given values in the formula length times width, so that would be 39 meters times 24 meters, that would be 936 squared meters. And the area of the smaller rectangle, since the width is 20 meters and the length is 35 meters, so we have 35 meters times 20 meters is equal to 700 square meters. So to find the area of the concrete walk, we are going to subtract the smaller rectangle from the bigger rectangle. So, 936 squared meters minus 700 squared meters is equal to 236 squared meters. So, therefore, the area of the concrete walk is 236 squared meters. Let's have another problem. Bruno needs to replace the carpet in his living room and hallway with laminate flooring. Each box of laminate flooring contains 2 and 5 tenths square meters of flooring material. How many boxes should Bruno buy? So let us refer to the floor plan below. Let us now understand the problem by knowing what is asked. So we are going to find the number of boxes of laminate flooring should Bruno buy. So for us to be able to find the number of boxes of laminate flooring, we are going to find also the total area of the living room and the hallway. So the given are, we have 4 and 5 tenths meters by 5 and 6 tenths meters. That is the measurement of the living room. And then we have 3 and 2 tenths meter by 1 and 5 tenths meter. That is the measurement of the hallway. And then we have 2 and 5 tenths square meters. That would be the flooring material for each box. Let us now plan by determining what are the formulas to be used. So to find the area of the living room and hallway, since this is a rectangle, we are going to use the formula length times the width. So to find the total area, Add the area of the living room and hallway. And to find how many boxes of flooring material should Bruno buy, divide the total area by 2 and 5 tenths squared meters. Let us now solve. So let us find first the area of the living room since we have... Um, length times width, multiply 5 and 6 tenths meters by 4 and 5 tenths meters. So that would be 25 and 2 tenths squared meters. And let us find also the area of the hallway. So substitute the given in the formula length times width. So we have 3 and 2 tenths meter times 1 and 5 tenths meter. That would be 4 and 8 10 squared meters. So that is the area of the hallway. So to find the total area, we are going to add the area of the living room and the area of the hallway. So the total area is 30 squared meters. And then to find the number of boxes, we are going to divide 30 square meters by 2 and 5 10 squared meters. So therefore, there are 12 boxes of laminate flooring should Bruno buy? Let's have an activity named Machi Machi. Match the puzzle to its corresponding answer by typing the letter of the correct answer in the comment section. Let's have number one. Calculate the area of the shaded region in the figure below. Is it letter A, 12 and 5 tenths square meters? Letter B, 37 and 5 tenths squared meters.
answer is letter A, 12 and 5 tenths squared meters. Let's have number 2. What is as in the problem? Selena is putting new tile in on a kitchen counter. Each sheet of the tile will cover 15 square feet. How many sheets of tile will Selena need to cover the whole counter? Is it letter A, the area of the kitchen counter? Letter B, the number of sheets of the tile needed? The answer is letter B, the number of sheets of tile needed. The compound figure is composed of a rectangle that measures 12 cm by 8 cm and a triangle with a base of 8 cm and a height of 7 cm. Find the area of the composite figure. Is it letter A? 68 squared centimeters letter B 124 squared centimeters The answer is letter B, 124 squared centimeters. Let's have another activity named Fact or Bluff. Identify if the given statement is a fact or bluff. Type the word fact if the statement is correct and bluff if it is incorrect in the comment section. Number one. Add the areas if the figures overlap to each other. Is it a fact or a bluff? Very good. The answer is a bluff. A composite figure is made up of several simple geometric figures such as triangles, rectangles, squares, circles, and semicircles. Is it a fact or a bluff? The answer is a fact. The first step on how to solve a problem is to read and analyze the word problem. Make sure you understand all the words and ideas in the problem. Is it a fact or a bluff? The answer is a fact. Use pi r squared plus s squared to solve the area of the figure below. Is it a fact or a bluff? Type your answer in the comment section. The answer is a fact. Last number. To find the area of the shaded region, add the area of the circle and the area of the triangle. Is it a fact or a bluff? The 
The answer is a bluff. Arrange the following steps in solving word problems. Type A to E in the comment section. To solve word problems involving area of composite figures, you can use the following steps. Letter A is to read the word problem. Make sure you understand all the words and ideas in the problem. Letter B is to identify and name what you are looking for. And letter C, translate the problem into a number sentence. Letter D, solve the problem using different strategies. And letter E, check if the answer is reasonable. Mr. Gerald wants to paint his basement floor. The dimensions are shown in the figure below. If a can paint covers an area of about 2 and 5 tenths squared meters, how many cans of paint should he buy? Solve this problem and type your final answer in the comment section. The answer is 12 cans of paint. For our evaluation, you are going to type the letter of the correct answer in the comment section. Number 1. What is the first step on how to solve a problem? Letter A. Check if the answer is reasonable. Letter B. Identify and name what you are looking for. Letter C. Solve the problem using different strategies. And letter D. Analyze the given problem by identifying what is asked. The answer is letter B. Analyze the given problem by identifying what is asked. Number two. The square is composed of a 9 inches square inscribed in a circle with a radius of 12 inches. What is the area outside the square? Letter A, 81 squared inches. Letter B, 371 and 1600 squared inches. Letter C, 452 and 1600 squared inches. Letter D, 533 and 1600 squared inches.
The answer is letter B. 371 and 1600 squared inches. Number 3. How much larger is a square pan with sides measuring 16 inches than a circular pan with a 16 inches diameter? Letter A. 55 and 400 squared inches. Letter B. 200 and 9600 squared inches. Letter C, 256 squared inches. Or letter D, 311 and 400 squared inches. is letter A, 55 and 400 squared inches. Number 4. The floor of a rectangular room measures 9 meters by 10 meters. A rectangular carpet is placed in the center of the room, leaving a border of 1 meter all around. If the carpet costs 1,500 per square meter, find the cost of the carpet. What is being asked in the problem above? Letter A, area of the rectangular room. Letter B, area of the carpet needed. Letter C, cost of the carpet. And letter D, none of the above. The answer is letter See the cost of the carpet. Number 5. Ella has a rectangular sheet of paper with a length of 16 cm and a width of 11 cm. She cuts out a small rectangular piece measuring 7 cm by 6 cm at one corner of the paper. Find the remaining area of the paper. Letter A. 176 squared centimeters letter B 134 squared centimeters letter C 42 square centimeters letter D 12 square centimeters Correct answer is letter B, 134 squared centimeters. For your assignment, open your learning package on page 21, What I Can Do, connecting to the real world. You are going to solve for the given problems. 
Please do not hesitate to let me know if you have any questions or concerns regarding this topic. Or if you need further clarification in this topic, and I'll be happy to answer those queries. Leave a message on my FB Messenger account or just type your questions here in the comment section. Have a great day!